Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Happy Friday night. Got a quick video for you tonight. One new car. One new car, the GTR. Let's uh, crack it and take a look. I very much wish that all green light cars came with a box. Because with Auto World, it makes it so much easier to store them. I like the Tarmac Works boxes too, the shipping containers. So this says Tarmac Works. It is a green light casting, so I don't know what the correlation is between the two. And this car does not have a number on the base. It's a sick looking little GTR. I like it. Nice roller. Appears to have a really nice stance. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Has the same issue that they all have. Damn, that sucks. It looks great on this side, but this side, you can see the gap in the wheel wells. I don't know why they all do that. There are a few that I've gotten. Out of three blue ones, I got lucky on the third one, and it doesn't do that. But the other two definitely do have that. Look at that. Gangster wing. That sucks. Maybe they just need to start doing plastic base. To prevent this I'd rather have a plastic base with a proper car and a proper stance than have a metal base with a junky casting like this this by the way <clears throat> this is not a six dollar casting so really frustrating It ruins a really nice car. It's such a nice car other other than that. But every single one of these has that issue. Ugh, so frustrating. I see it a lot too with this casting. But not nearly as much. Not nearly as much with the GTR. But it does happen. Anyways, so I think this is the Tokyo police department livery and I do have the Tokyo police GTR this one is probably the nicest GTR in my collection there's no issues with it no stance issues really clean so I wanted to get this one to match but unfortunately not so lucky to get a good one. Anyway, so <clears throat> so I got that. It's got a really nice light bar. Awesome spoiler. The police graphics. Nice wheels on this car. Really nice uh, transparent headlights. This R34 does have it does have an opening hood. I feel like if I'm going to open it, well, it's it's down really good. I'm not going to open it on this one, but uh, what a bummer! Really nice car, otherwise. 
But I do have, here's a green light R34 that is proper. This one doesn't have that base issue. Just a proper, uh, if it does, it's a very, very slight. This one though, I think I can open the, the hood and the engine is gonna be the same. Wheels are the same, just different color. Not a lot of these R34s out there have opening hoods. So it is pretty cool feature <clears throat> for green light to do that. So I now have um, four of these. I have the blue one, the gold one, the black bandit, <coughs> which I think the black bandit that I got is good too. And now this one. This will display nice because it will display from this side. And that's all I do anyways. So I guess it's not, <clears throat> not too big of a deal. But I did get out a couple of other GTRs that I wanted to just show. Both of these GTRs are Miho exclusives. I don't know if this is like a pace car, or a safety car. But I like the graphics on this one. And then I think probably the nicest GTR that Greenlight has ever done is this one here. This is the shell. And this thing came out really nice. It's got Hankook tires on it. Lens headlights, a lot of detail. Almost looks like a wrap on the car and not a paint job. But you can see even this one has a little bit of a lean. Now, <clears throat> here's how you do the R34 the right way. I'll show you. Here's how to do a proper R34. For six bucks, the green light's nice if you can avoid getting one with the stance issue. But it's just not, not even close to as nice as this one. Honestly, though, if... If green light could get it right with all you know without every other one being jacked up I'd be perfectly satisfied with it because the tooling itself is a nice tooling it's actually a really nice tooling other than the little stubby mirrors that's the only thing I don't really like about it but it's not that big of a of a deal on 1 to 64 scale although one thing I would say I would rather them not put the mirrors on at all than put little stubby mirrors like this because those are not authentic to the car. These are authentic to the car. They have a much larger mirror 
than those little stubs. So I kind of wish they had just left those off like they did with the uh, GTR. Because it really doesn't take anything away from the look. Anyways, told you it'd be a quick video. So we'll recap it, and then I'll get this uploaded. I also, um, I did a really, <clears throat> I would say the video's nice, but I did a video <clears throat> that I'm going to upload that has a lot of really nice stuff in it. So there you go, Tokyo Police R34, R35, nice little pair. So thanks everybody. Have a good weekend. I'm hoping to be back tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But uh, after I get this uploaded, I'll upload another video that I have that's it's already done. It's ready to go. So just some really cool premium detailed import stuff. So be on the lookout for those. And uh, thank you everybody for always supporting the channel. Some nice green light cars for you. Can't wait for the 510. I will see you. I will holler at the next video.